Good morning. Welcome here back to my channel. It is about 9 30. I just finished uh, getting ready for the day. I have on a sweater right now because my house is really cold, but I do have on a little tanky underneath if I get a little toasty, but it was actually really funny. I, well, before I get into my story, I just wanted to say hello and good morning. And today is going to be just a normal day in the life. I have some home updates I'm excited to share with you. And are we doing anything else? <laughs> No, nothing else. Normal day in the house. Um, this week is a little bit slower for me work-wise just because I am waiting on um, some content to be made. So I'm kind of just like really focused on um, YouTube and my house and just really getting things together, which is really fun. And I've also had a lot of time for myself in the mornings and I've been running. I just went on a run, which felt really good. Um, it's my second day running in a row, which is great. But yeah, I've just been having um, some more time for myself, which is really great. So I thought I would just pick up the camera and vlog for you guys today. And as I was saying, uh, yesterday I was doing the dishes and I was watching YouTube and I just thought to myself, I cannot wait for fall, <laughs> which sounds so bad because we are just barely into July and I'm already over summer. I feel like I've had the worst luck finding shorts that fit me. Um, I'll show you some new clothing fits that I got. And yeah, I just feel like my shorts are not cute. I can't really find great tank tops that I love. I don't know, does anyone else feel that way? I am just so excited for fall. I was listening to The Descendants <laughs> album yesterday, which is so embarrassing, but it's weird. I'm just ready. I'm ready for like fall movies and fall activities. <sighs> so I'm trying to get myself into the summer mood, but it's hard when my house is cold and I have to wear a freaking sweater. So anyway, let me know how you feel down below. Are you a fall person or summer? Because I am over summer. And maybe it's because of quarantine, like we haven't really been able to travel or do a lot of things at the pool. I don't know. It just doesn't seem the same, but we did have a great 4th of July. So I hope that you guys had a happy and safe 4th of July. We went to the lake by my mom's house and it was so much fun. We spent the whole day out there. Sebastian's family came and we tried paddle boarding. Now I've done paddle boarding once before in the ocean when I went to the Dominican Republic with my best friend and it was not a great experience. I think it was obviously because I was in the ocean and I'd never done it before. It was just an experience that did not go well. And the poor guy, the little worker guy had to come out to the middle of the ocean to freaking get me and pull me back in. And it was just a very scary experience, but we tried it again on the lake and it was amazing. Like I am so surprised how much I love it. It was so relaxing, so fun. Um, Except me and my sister did see like a beaver or something in the water. <laughs> it's really scary. But other than that, it was such a fun day outside. So that felt like a proper summer day. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've just always like haven't really had too much to do. And so I'm trying to like, I don't know, not get too bummed out about it. But I do feel like many of us, I don't know, there's not concerts or I don't know, fun things going on but we are trying to make the best of it and those little like weekends when there's fun things outside just mean so much to me so i hope that you guys had a great fourth of july like i said it is 9 30 in the morning sebastian is at a dentist appointment and i'm here at home <laughs> cracking on with some work and i figured i'd start the vlog so it's a little bit chatty for me but i'm in my room now you guys might be able to see we did um a quick i think i mentioned it in a, my clean with me but I wanted to really deep clean um, up here so that we could rearrange because we really are wanting just to like, I don't know. I think we're in a, an interesting position because we obviously still rent out this townhouse from um, his grandparents. So if you guys don't know that, this isn't ours. We didn't buy this townhouse. We're renting it from his grandma, which we're super thankful for because I don't know, we, we're not in a rush to buy a home just because we've always battled with wanting to live out of state for such a long time. So we figured we don't wanna rush into anything like that. And so this has just been a great opportunity, but in the same sense, we haven't really wanted to like really buy and decorate too much because we don't know where we're gonna be next year or we don't know. I don't know, it just seems like, why are we gonna put all this money into dec like decor um, if we're not like buying and really putting down roots? But we've kind of had a change of heart. Obviously, we purchased our couch, which was a huge purchase for us, which we love and will take with us wherever we need to go because I love my couch. 
Um, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I think because of like COVID and being at home, you just realize like how not beautiful, not that our house isn't beautiful, but my like creativity is not being like executed well <laughs> in our home. So we really decided to buy some new pieces and really like make our home feel good. Cause I think there's a way to do that without spending a ton of money. You guys know, of course, I love to go to the thrift store and find things there, Facebook marketplace. I mean, all of these things, there's an easier way to do it. Um, so we figured we would do that. And we figured we'd buy pieces that we know that we love and aren't too much, but just bring like more life and fun into the home because who knows if we are even gonna like move out of state and all of that. So all of that to say, <laughs> we rearranged our bedroom just to like zhuzh up the place. Um, and we started, we were so bummed. It was actually so annoying. We went to at home because so I was like, I don't know, sometimes they have cute little knickknacks. So we decided to go and it was just like terrible. They did not have a lot going on there, but we found this really cute bed frame. No. We found this really cute headboard and if you guys know me, you know I've been wanting a headboard for such a long time but at the same time it's kind of just like, do we wait until, we're, I don't know, like you just don't want to commit until I know the theme of my bedroom in my house, this type of thing. So we found this like really cute affordable one and they didn't end up having it, they didn't have it online, it was just such a mess and we were so close to buying a headboard and then it just like slipped away from me. So one of my goals uh, this week is to lock down a headboard because we really want to buy one. We're tired of not having one. Not that we need one. I mean, we've gone years without having one, but it just feels like an adult bedroom. Like we just want to feel like an adult married couple with a freaking headboard. So we rearranged the room. I will show you a little. We didn't go too crazy, but we did a little shopping and grab some things that hopefully like help. I don't know, bring this place to life a little bit more and show a little bit more of Sebastian and Carly. So I hope that you guys enjoy the daily vlog. If you guys are new to the channel, I would love to have you subscribe, give the video lots of love. Let me know your thoughts on winter and spring down below. And I'm gonna show you our bedroom haul. I'm moving my hamper out of the way, <laughs> but I'll start here just cause this is where I was sitting. Um, so actually maybe I'll give you a tour of the bedroom. So we ended up putting our bed on this wall. It originally was over here, but we switched it here, which we're still like eh about. And now we definitely, once we get a headboard, we want to change out these nightstands. Cause I think you guys might remember if you watched a vlogmas this year, but we got these off of Amazon thinking they'd be way taller and they're like little mini ones. And we were just lazy and didn't return them cause I hate returning. So now we've been stuck with them, but when we get a headboard, I just feel like it will look so weird. So we're gonna sell those and find something new. But anyway, this is where our bed is now. And we put the mirror over here. I ordered some beautiful pompous grass to go in this. I thrifted this probably a year ago. Isn't it so cute? So yeah, it's been a while. Actually, maybe even two years ago. And it's always been empty. <laughs> Cause I just don't know really what's put in it. So I ordered some pompous grass, which will be here on Amazon. It looks beautiful. It had great reviews, so we'll see. So we put the mirror over here and then we're planning to get rid of the TV, which is a huge, we like went back and forth, back and forth, but we just decided that like, it looks so much kind of like a college bedroom and we just don't like the clunkiness of it. So we're gonna get rid of it. And then I think we're gonna put like a really pretty mirror above. We used to have the pictures of us, which I did order new pictures because I was just over them and there are wedding pictures, but I just feel like I'm over our like bedroom being like us on the walls. I don't know. So we're gonna get a really pretty mirror right there and just more things on our dresser. We did want to like sell this because it's like this doesn't close, which is so annoying. And this is like a cheap, cheap Ikea dresser. It looks cute. Like I like if it was like this like all the drawers were closed i think it would be pretty and we didn't have the tv but that's kind of last on our list to be honest um we did look at at home but they didn't really have anything that we wanted so we think if we just take the tv off get a really pretty mirror it would look really great and then this stuff is kind of like new stuff this was downstairs in our kitchen we got this off of amazon and we absolutely love it so we thought we'd bring it up here because i wanted to make this this isn't where it's gonna go we still have to like figure out some things but I thought it'd be really cute to get like a lot of plants and like have like plants and like candles and little like cute knickknacks I thought would be cute so we'll throw this somewhere and then this I got it at home this is gonna go um, 
with my vanity. Now, the brown vanity that like used to be over there, <laughs> um, Sebastian got that for me like, ooh, maybe that was like a year and a half ago too. I loved it, but it, one of the legs broke and it just, I don't know, it wasn't like my favorite thing. So I ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace and it's actually so sad, but the girl came to pick it up yesterday and I just had it, just cause like COVID and social things, I just left it outside and I um, told her she was totally fine to come get it whenever. And <laughs> Sebastian, we were upstairs in his office when they came. Ooh, there's a little mark. Hopefully that's better. Um, when they came, the like husband or boyfriend or whoever it was. <laughs> well, and I told her about the wobbly leg. I was like, it's broken. But, like you guys saw, like I still could stand it up. It was just wiggly. And she was like, oh, he can fix it, whatever. So um, when he was carrying it, he dropped all of it. And we just heard this loud, like, psh, like bang. And I looked outside and he like took a picture because it was so funny. But the whole vanity was in pieces, like still bigger pieces, but pieces and so I was just waiting for my phone to like ring for her to be like it's broken like I don't want it anymore which I didn't think would be fair but she was just she texted me and she's like thanks I picked it up and I was like your husband must be amazing at fixing because pieces so anyway I'm sad I feel really bad that they dropped it yeah, that would just be so annoying but anyway I was able to sell that so now my vision is to get just like I don't know where I'm gonna put it to be honest. Like I don't really want it in my office because I want my office to really be an office and not like a beauty room, like kind of over that. So anyway, I got this little stool, which I think is so pretty. I'm just like kind of obsessed with this blue. Like we have the blue running through our bedroom, which I really love. So picked this up at at home. It was like 40 bucks, which I think is really cute. So I wanna just find like a desk and make my own vanity, which is why I have this. I thought that this was stuck. Manga. So this was like 40 bucks again at at home and I was gonna do a round mirror for my vanity But I just figured that was so done and over with like I don't know I just see Circle mirrors everywhere and obviously like we want to have a mirror up here So I thought that this one was so pretty and I think with the right desk like it could really be stunning so it's just like a nice little gold that has a fun shape. Sorry, you guys have to like look at my thighs. But anyway, that's what I was thinking for my vanity, which I thought was really cute. And then this clock we've had, um, ew, you guys have seen, it's like over, you guys have seen, we've had it like over the TV, which I think is so weird and random. Um, so we took it down and we'll probably put it somewhere downstairs. Um, so those are some of the new bits, which I'm just really, really excited about. I want our house to be fun and cute, even if we're not gonna be here forever. I think it's still important to like, I don't know, make the space yours. And for such a long time, we've always had like random things here and there. So we're really, really excited. I also thought I'd show the new shorts that I got. Um, these are from Zara, which if you watched my thrifting video, then you know I was waiting to order from Zara. So they're just the mom fit, which I actually really, really love. They're still like a nice high waist, um, but they're not too short, which is comfortable. And they kind of like roll. So I don't know. It's just like a more like chilled, relaxed short rather than like a tiny little short. I also got these ones here, which I actually have to return, which is such a bummer, but I got these ones, which I thought would be really cute because they're like high-waisted and they're a little bit like frayed and they're just like a typical summer short, but they actually show my entire bum. <laughs> they are so short. So I was super bummed that they were really, really short because I like these ones that they're like longer, um, but I don't always want to have a long short. Like it's fun to have like a cute shorty short sometimes. So I have to go return those and keep looking, but um, I like the black ones. I think they're fun. They're like an easy like mom jean Style which I'm comfortable with I like it. So anyway, I'll link them down below if you want them They are so cute and comfy. I'm gonna head downstairs really quickly just to show you guys the thing that we got to replace that um, Like wooden shelf. Oh here are our new pictures so it was a huge like struggle to pick them out because our frames are like this way and a lot of our favorite pictures are like this way. What is that landscape? And I know I could turn the frames, but I just wanted them all to be the same. So we decided on this one, which I really, really love. It's just like, ooh, 
so cute. This is one of our favorites too. It's a little like zoomed in, so I might see if I can reorder it. And then same with this one. And then this is what we picked up at Home Goods the other day um, to replace our little thing. So I think if we get like, I don't know, I want something here. I don't know if we do like a mirror. We obviously have a mirror there. So maybe I take that there. I don't know. I need something above it, just like give it a little bit of height. But this is cute little shelf. Sebastian actually picked this out and I didn't know if I was gonna like love it. But I love this tiling like again I think it's so pretty and we just use it for like our mail and keys and whatever we've kind of like settled on our like dream home so when we really like settle down and I think like most people will have many homes not like many but like one home that you start in and like our end goal home is to be like a Spanish style home and I love them so i'll leave my pinterest down below if you guys want to follow me over there and see my home board but i have just become in love with spanish style it's very like i don't know just warm and exciting and it has a lot of like that tiling um so i thought that that would be cute because while it's not my home right now i thought it would be a nice reminder to look at every single day of what i want my home to be like so anyway it was kind of just like a silly thing but when you picked it out i was like oh my gosh that is so perfect so that's what we put here which i love and then i also thrifted yesterday um i'm gonna get rid of this my friend mckaylee made like i'm gonna keep it but my friend mckaylee made it she made a ton of signs for us for our wedding she made this one this one here above our tv which i love but i just feel like i don't know he doesn't really like live there it's just like weird i don't know why i put it there so i really want to get like an over the toilet shelf i watch um allison bickerstaff on youtube and she just got one and it looks so cute so i think i'll get like a really cute wooden one to have something over there and then i got this cute little shelf isn't it cute i mean my toilet paper i didn't know how to stack it so you guys are probably having anxiety that it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. but anyway I thought it was really pretty. It's like a nice little like blue gray, which I thought was fun. And I just put those on it. And I thought it'd be a nice place to like have toilet paper. I don't know how to store it. Like, I don't know if I do it all in one line. Cause then I feel like it's just like weird. I don't know. And then we're going to hang this up here. So I thought that that would be cute. I'm pretty sure we Sebastian thrifted this as well. This New York photo, which New York is very dear to our hearts. So anyway, I thought that this was cute. It was like $5. So we've got a little bathroom shelf. So anyway, that is sort of it for like house updates. <gasps> Look at that bug on my freaking wall. Oh no. I'll be right back. <gasps> Ew. Oh my gosh. I literally hate this. I hate this so much. Yeah, he knows I'm coming for him. Oh, so Okay, on that note, I should probably get back to work. So anyway, I thought I would just update you guys a little bit on the house stuff. And if you have any recommendations for like where you find really cool artwork, let me know because that is next on our list. We wanna get like really fun artwork for our bedroom and down here and just throughout the house. So let me know how you figure out your style because I've always struggled with that. I don't know, it's so easy to like print out pictures of yourselves and your family which i do love but i feel like i don't know i'm kind of over it we have enough of us so i want like really cool artwork and really cool pieces so but i just don't really know my style so let me know what you do i'm gonna get back to work and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later i just got an email that my pompous grass has shipped so i wanted to show you guys um the one that i got it's like a really pretty it has like some pinks in there um but i think it's gonna be so Pretty. So I will leave a link to that below um, and hopefully by the time this video is up I can let you know how I like it. So a little bit later I just got a little bit ready, not really, I just put my hair back, um, to film my summer self tan routine. I don't really know what I'm going to call it. I'm so out of breath. I ran all the way up here to get my camera, but um, I just filmed that. So by the time you're watching this vlog, you should have already seen it. So hopefully you liked it. I will link it here um, if you haven't seen it. I set this up for the video, which I think is kind of cute. I don't know. It's like a lot of black, white, black, white, blah, blah, blah. But this is eventually what it will like look like, which I think is cute for the video. I grabbed my camera because it's 11 a.m. <laughs> I've been working for a while and I've actually cranked out a lot of stuff that I needed to, which was really good. But 
I have like a craving for sweet tea. So I'm gonna make my own sweet tea that I'd show you guys. I think Sebastian's home. He was really upset. Sebastian has the reputation in our family. He never has a cavity, like ever. And <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but he called me and he said he had a cavity. So he's a little disappointed in himself, which is very funny. It's not like we get, I don't get a ton of cavities, but like I do get them which I'm trying to be better, which is why I switched my toothbrush to the Quip toothbrush, and that's why I floss my teeth a lot now. So I'm getting better, but the last two times I've been to the dentist, I haven't had a cavity, um, but he never does. So I think it's really funny that he got one, because I'm mean. Um, but yes, I am going to make some sweet tea. I love making sweet tea. And for my tea, I just use the normal, this thing is a mess. Dun dun dun! Who got a cavity? No! <laughs> I told them. You did? Yep. Did you tell them I've never had a cavity? Yes, of course I told them that. I can't believe it. The doctor was like, yeah, because they're always like, wow, you have really great gums. Like, yeah. Wow, you're really good at fuzzy. I'm like, yeah. Eh. And he's like, yeah, it really looks great. You just have a small little cavity. I'm like, what? <laughs> Wrong, sir. <laughs> so I just used the normal Lipton black tea and I sweeten it a little bit but honestly I love black tea so I might not I just put a little bit of lemon in we'll see what I decide but I'm gonna make a little bit of this do you like black tea okay my sweet tea is done I didn't realize that I literally only made like one serving <laughs> so I'll have to make a bigger batch um, but I just took out my tea bags and threw it in my favorite cup added some ice and a little lemon wedge and that is gonna be my nice little sweet drink I didn't put any sugar or anything this time I do have a really great recipe for Chick-fil-A's um, sweet tea, but it has sugar, like a lot. So I just did the black tea with the lemon and it's actually really, really nice and really refreshing. And then I wanted to show you when I do make bigger batches, I put it into this cute little pitcher. How cute is this? I actually got this at like Smith's for like $2. <laughs> I think it's so cute for like parties and summer barbecues and whatever. So I didn't get to use this today. <laughs> so I literally had like this much, but normally when I make a bigger batch, I will put it in this and it just keeps really well in the fridge so i'm going to pop this on and then i'm gonna head upstairs and edit the video that i just filmed i'm on such a youtube roll it's pretty crazy i have been like uploading like three times a week for the last three or four weeks which i'm really proud of myself and i hope that you guys are enjoying the videos um i've just been really enjoying all of the like free time I have in my schedule to dedicate towards YouTube and it just makes it a lot more fun and exciting and I'm so ahead of schedule which is really nice I used to have to like film edit and upload within one day um, when I had my full-time job or use the whole weekend to do that and it was just very <sighs> draining and I don't know you just want to like enjoy the weekends and so I've been able to do that and really like film all these videos and edit them when i want to and have them like scheduled out so i can enjoy my time like it's just so great we are leaving on thursday to go to saint george so it's nice to know that like i have videos edited and ready to go so that i can enjoy my trip and that's just <laughs> i think with everything like the key to a happy life is preparedness <laughs> i feel like like being prepared oh my gosh um being prepared will save the day. I, I just like go to bed not stressed and I don't know. So I'm very excited and there's some fun things in the works and I don't know, I'm just in a really good place and I hope that you guys are enjoying the content and seeing a difference in my channel. Um, so anyway, got my tea. It's literally so good. And I'm gonna go. I have popped out to Target to do a quick little pre-road trip um, shop. I don't really know. I have a couple things. Actually, I'll be really sad if I don't have my list. I have a couple things that we need. Um, like I mentioned, we are about to go on a, like a little road trip um with sebastian and his cousin and his little sister to celebrate their graduation because obviously with all of this i don't know we just felt bad that they didn't really have 
a, a traditional graduation. So we're doing this even though you could argue it's a little bit like unnecessary, but at the same time, like we are just going absolutely crazy in our house. And um, so we figure, you know, we'll be really, really safe. We're going on lots of hikes, um, being by the pool, a lot of fresh open air. So we feel really good about it and we're taking all of the precautions to stay safe. So that's why I'm out to Target. I'm trying to find um, some Lysol wipes to bring with us because I don't have any. And Sebastian lost his face mask <laughs> somewhere this week. So he hasn't had it all week. And I do not want him to go on a trip without a face mask. I don't know the rules where you live, but here in Salt Lake, we have to wear masks. And even though we're not going to be in Salt Lake this weekend, I still... Um, I don't know, I wanna wear a mask. I'm happy to wear that and to protect myself and everybody else, so I want Sebastian to have one and he wants to as well. So I'm hoping Target has them. I feel like everyone has them <laughs> these days. Um, and then I thought I would try to find a pair of shorts here since the shorts from Zara, the blue ones were absolutely inappropriate. <laughs> and so I wanna find that. And then what else is on here? Um, I kind of want, a sun hat hand sanitizer and that's it so anyway i'm gonna pop in now and i will hopefully do a little haul for you guys when i find all of my things fingers crossed holy hotness okay didn't get everything on my list for some reason it looked like i haven't seen the targets like this since the beginning of covid and there was no kitchen spray i mean there was some but none that i wanted um, I really wanted the Peony Mrs. Myers um, kitchen spray. They didn't have that, which was fine, but no Lysol, like absolutely barely any bleach, like no cleaning supplies, which I haven't seen in a really long time. So I also um, wanted to pick up Hillary Burton's new book, um, her like memoir. Really wanted to pick that up for the trip so that I could read that by the pool um, because I'm reading conversations with friends and it is so horrible. I normally don't say that, but I read the reviews online and everyone feels the same way. Like it's just so whiny and very complainy. And anyway, so I need a new book. They didn't have that. So I'm going to run to Barnes and Noble and then run to like a Walmart or something. Hopefully I can get Lysol. But I ran into Bath and Body Works because I thought that I would just do a little peek. They were having like a massive sale. So I figured I would get something and I just got, um, stuff for my car so I got three little I have like their little clip on this is like my summer one <laughs> isn't she cute <laughs> she reminds me of my friend McKaylee <laughs> um so I have like that but I haven't refilled it in probably like two years um so I got a couple I got cactus blossom which is my favorite candle I love it um I got sweet pea which was a nice little fresh scent and then I got stress relief because we're stressed in the car. Um, and then they were having like five for eight little hand sanitizers. So I thought I would get one for me and Sebastian and the girls to keep in our bags um, when we go on our trip. So I got two stress reliefs. I got Atlantic and Graphite, which is like a men's um, collection there, which I thought would be fun for Sebastian. And then strawberry pound cake and another stress relief. So that's what I got at Bath and Body Works and feel really good about it. At Target, the only kitchen spray I could find, which I do really like this brand. Um, I just like Mrs. Myers a little bit more, but this is the Love Home and Planet Multi-Purpose Cleaner in Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower. I've used their stuff before and I do like it. And then I found these for, they were two for $5. So I thought it was nice, a nice little face mask for Sebastian. So, oh, and then I got him a lot of his peanut butter packets cause they were sold out on Amazon. Um, so anyway, that is my Target haul. I'm going to run to the nearest Barnes and Noble, see if I can find that book, see if I can find Lysol wipes and then we'll be home. I finished up at my second Target and it was successful. I was able to find some Lysol wipe. I mean, these are not Lysol, but this was all there was. <laughs> so I got those and then I got this sun hat. Are you kidding? I feel like that's gonna be so cute at the pool. So I got that. It was only $12, so not too bad. And then I did quite a spree, but I um, got the book that I wanted, which I'm so happy about. These types of books, like memoirs or biographies, I could honestly read in a whole day. So very excited and then 
I didn't find any shorts at Target, so I went across the road to Old Navy. First off, I found these. They were only $4. How perfect is that for the pool? I mean, they're like cheapo little sandals, but I thought that that was cute. You guys know I love a cheetah print. And then I found shorts, but these also looked pretty small. So, um, I don't know. We are going to see. It says three inches. I, but that doesn't mean anything to me. So, they're the boyfriend style. Um, we'll see how they look. If not, I have to return those and my Zara ones and we're back at square one. So I'm gonna go home now. Me and Sebastian have to go out, shoot some content, take some pictures. So I need to go get ready for that. Um, but I will see you guys at home. Hey guys, made a quick stop and uh, Sebastian's gonna take a photo. <laughs> it's so mean to me. Just kidding. Um, yeah, like Sebastian said, we've been driving around um, Sebastian's gonna shoot some content for his Instagram, which is a huge tip when you have. Follow me on the comments. The on comments. the comments, um, I'll leave his account down below. It's very like tips for marketing and building your brand and just all fun things. Um, <sighs> but that's a tip when you have like a couple hours, it's nice to like come and shoot, huh? Because then you're not super stressed out when you're trying to like plan out content so yeah it's nice I'm not gonna take any photos today no maybe you look good maybe if I find like I my vibe is just very relaxed so like a relaxed coffee shop or something like that maybe but so where are we going we're going to Ikea baby because Sebastian's like his brand is kind of like colors and stuff like that <laughs> with the blue so we think if we put him right there it'll be good <laughs> Oh, he wants to show an outfit. So where is your top from? I can't remember. <laughs> Where's from? You wish. Top man, no? Oh yeah, top man. Yeah. Um, and then his little flamingo shorts. H&M. H&M, aren't they sick? I feel like they're so cool. So he has and these. And Birkenstocks. And Birkenstocks, baby. So he has these in the flamingo and he has a navy blue with white little um, anchors. And then he has a, another green with like a pretty, plant design right it's like oh, leaves yeah. if any of you guys have husbands or boyfriends that are looking for just nice breathable shorts the best. they are the best he loves them so i will leave them linked below um because they've been awesome for him <laughs> i know i'm also scared that we're gonna get in trouble <laughs> but i'm always scared hey maybe we can take my picture over there I just finished up cleaning my very messy kitchen and I thought I would end the vlog here just because it's the end of the day. It is nine o'clock, like I said. Finished up cleaning, I'm going to go. Oh, this lighting is not treating me so well. Is that a little better? A little better. Um, my dishwasher is on, but I'm gonna go upstairs, read my new book and sit in the tub and actually, so I posted about my new book just because I was really, really excited and I tagged Hillary Burton and she put me like reposted me on her story <laughs> which i stared at it for like oh, i thought that was a bug um i stared at it for way too long and was way too excited and i can't i feel like now we're best friends <laughs> so anyway on that note it's been a great day and i'm gonna finish it off doing what i do best which is just sitting in the tub so filled up my water and gonna head up there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was like a haul heavy type of vlog and normally I don't like shop a ton. Like if you watch my channel, I really don't shop all that often. So um, it was fun to share those with you guys and there's just exciting things happening this weekend and just like in our home and all of that. So it's fun to document it. So I'll have everything linked below if you would like to get something similar or shop the same things as me. I will have it all there. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Give the video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.